And we're back! To some kind of story, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the story's whatever. I feel like this game might be longer than I thought it was. That's where I just came from. Yep. There you go, there you go. See, car mode actually has a lot of benefits to it. So, uh, a couple interesting facts. I mean, I might as well be that fat guy. Fact guy, not fat guy. Uh, send me up. Uh, just go around. I thought it was gonna, like, shoot me up or something. I don't think so. Uh, Barricade never really had an important part in any of the series. Like, even the original series. Well, he caught Shia LaBeouf. I'm not talking about the movies. Uh, Dang it! I forget the movies ever happened, okay? I have. Uh, no, I'm talking about an original, like, Not story. all the movies are bad. The first one was good. The first one was... I think you had to kill the other guys over there first. The first one was not as bad as the other ones were. Let's leave it that way. You have grenades, too, that you can throw behind that uh, deal. When he puts the shield up. Oh, so he's dead now. So, you're good. There's one more, too. Ammo! But no, um, Barricade always had really good, like, bit roles in the original series. He was always, like, there fighting, but he didn't really he didn't have anything important that ever happened with him. Uh, on the other hand, though, Brawl at some point gets killed, and but comes back later as Demolisher. Those are Energon cubes. And uh, Demolisher is Megatron's, like, left-hand man. And Get out of the way, Carl. They're just waiting for you to make the space bridge. <laughs> they can't do it? Nope. Gotta be you. How do you reload? Uh, X. Demolisher is Megatron's left hand man in Transformers Armada. Where he's exactly the same as he is his brawl, basically, because he's a tank with two cannons. But he has a really nifty tank arm for, like, left hand that's just like a Gatling thing. It's really cool. Uh, another interesting note. Do you know why there are three people like on your side all the time? Why? Because this game was designed for online three-player co-op. I could have guessed. Which is also why you will notice that some encounters are really difficult. It's because the game is still scaled for online three-player co-op. Gun. Uh, looks like it's just another flak shot gun. You already have one of those. And you're full on ammo on it, so. Alright. Should I let him go first? <laughs> Hold the left trigger while you're a car to boost. And you should be getting close to meeting Starscream. Now, who is the final boss of this area, if you hadn't guessed? It is a space station that explodes. Just because it's not red doesn't mean it's not a red barrel. And you also have to kill every enemy in the room to proceed. Ammo. Give me these card things. <laughs> you should. Uh, you should kill them first. Killed him in midair. Nice. There's a switch behind you to activate. We play weird games. We do. You gotta admit at least though that the gameplay in this feels really tight. That sounds really disappointing. What, Megatron? No, the... Uh, I like it. I can't hear it. Oh, it's probably because Megatron is tall, and so am I. Hey, there's health. Where? Right there. Isn't it? Yeah. Booyah. 
Oh yeah, this game introduces Dark Energon, which is the dark version of regular Energon, if you hadn't guessed. And, uh, and they want to try and control it. <laughs> Disable that vehicle, he says. I love that little slide thing that all the smaller Autobots can hurt, smaller Transformers can do. And they come out of uh, car mode. I was almost full rank with this online before I moved to my house and didn't have internet anymore. And since then, the servers have gone down. Which is a massive shame because I almost had this game 100%. This is as good as Outlet as any to uh, rant for a minute while you're killing these guys about online only achievements. Online only achievements are the work of the devil. <laughs> to say it nicely, I suppose. Uh, basically, if you make a game, game developers, and you put online only achievements in there, you're evil. Because, all right, let me let me throw it to you this way. Imagine, if you will, viewers, you find a game secondhand somewhere really cheap, or maybe firsthand somewhere really cheap, uh, retail, online, whatever, and it's a really good deal, and you want to get it, and you like to 100% your games. I can't blame you. Why wouldn't you? You can go ahead and go there now. The door will open for you. Um, can I see it? Who could it be? Some person whose name we will never know. <laughs> um, the other group, okay. Yeah, it's just it's just him now. Uh, he's a heavy grenades or getting behind him are the two best ways to kill him. But you're out of grenades, so I would recommend getting behind him and shooting him in that glowy core. Uh, anyway, for instance, say you bought this game because you viewer may be watching our video of it right now and saying. I like Transformers. I like tight gameplay. I would like this game. You get the game home, and you're all excited, and you play all the way through the campaign after watching us play all the way through the campaign. Because why wouldn't you watch us do it first, right? Then you can remember all our funny jokes when you go through the whole series. That of which we have none. That's what I was going to say. I was going to lean in close to the mic and do it too, you jerk. Um, but for instance, say you do that. And then after you're done with that, you decide to go online and play some of the online. Well, you can't, because they shut the servers down, which is already annoying enough as it is. But you decide you want to go ahead and try and 100% the game. And then you realize there are four achievements that are dedicated to online play. And you cannot 100% this game anymore. It's no longer physically possible to do. That is so stupid, because it happens in so many games. I am one achievement away from 100%ing Halo Wars. You know what achievement that is? It's reached highest rank on Xbox Live. The most annoying thing about it is they reset the servers at one point when I was almost there. So then I almost had it again and I was playing the day before the servers went down trying to get there and I couldn't. And now I'll never be able to get that achievement. So I will always have 57 of 58 achievements in that game. And the small little piece of me that likes all numbers to be even and not odd hates that. Of course, to be fair, the small little piece of me that likes numbers to be even and not odd also hates myself because I'm a third. You're having some troubles here, aren't you? No, just taking a while. Also, your uh, your AI companions can go down and can die. Just heads up. Uh, if, if they die, you have to restart the checkpoint. Because it's made for its repair core. But yeah, that was my uh, was my rant on multiplayer only achievements, which are stupid. Why did I do that? I don't know. Why did you do that? There should never be a moment in a game where you can't do something that the game has told you you're able to do. And online only achievements are exactly that. He's gonna explode, you should get away. Like a boss. Nicely done. Running out of ammo. Actually, you have a lot of ammo now, Barricade. <laughs> Oops. Oh, you just wanted to protect the room you just came from. 
Speaking of protection, so we should pause it. Huh. Exactly protection. <laughs> <laughs> Game got nuts.